guys, so today I am here with a talk through get ready with me on this makeup look right here. It is just a everyday, kind of glammed up, just a little bit, just a little bit, fall makeup look. All the colors are very warm and just bronzy. I use the Morphe 35-0 palette for this look as well as a lot of new products, a lot of drugstore, a lot of this and that. I know there's a lot of kind of wishy-washy for this palette because it's always sold out, but they always bring it back, so just check their website. But I just really wanted to do something with that palette and make it very fall appropriate. Yeah, so this video is going to be pretty long already, so I'm not going to do a really long introduction because it is a talk-through tutorial. If you wanted to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. I hope that the lighting's okay. The It's a little different, but... So I'm just putting some... Uh... Vaseline. This is the cream brulee one. I'm going to be using a lot of products, some for the first time today, so this should be fun. And what I'm getting ready for is I'm going to be filming my pregnancy Q&A right after this, so that's basically what I'm getting ready for. I am actually really pale right now, but I feel like I look a lot paler than I really am, but you never know. So excuse Blue, I'm sorry if he's walking around, but you know. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some primer on my eyes. I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is a really nice primer. It's really good for people that have a lot of creasing in their eye on their eyelids. This one's an awesome one to use to prevent creasing. And I'm gonna kind of do more of a glammed up look. Not really, really glammed up, where it's something you couldn't do every day, but I am gonna apply false lashes. Alright, so today I'm gonna be using the Morphe 35O palette. If you don't have this palette, I'm sorry, but it is a limited, I mean it is a permanent palette so it's not going to ever they're always going to restock it so if you don't have it right now you can get your hands on it it's like 22 dollars it is so affordable it's perfect for fall i mean it's perfect for all year round but it's a bunch of fall warm tones and there's a lot of metallics i've showed this a few times in my vlogs if you watch my vlogs um, if you don't you just watch my makeup tutorials then you don't know what i'm talking about so i don't know what i'm going to kind of create something probably you know semi -gl glam I'm just so drawn to the metallics like so drawn to them so the first thing I'm going to take is a fluffy blending brush like this one and I'm going to go into this kind of like a salted caramel shade I would say it's very light orange kind of tangerine I'm just going to apply that directly into my crease as like a transition shade You can really see the orange hue of it. It's a really beautiful color. Who would have scared me? <laughs> My Victoria's Secret order came in, yay! So the FedEx guy was like, that's a lot of stuff. I was thinking, <laughs> they were having a special, excuse me. Next, I wanna go in with this second shade down right here. It's a little darker than the one we just used, if you can tell, but it's the same family. And I'm just going to apply that more directly into the crease, kind of underneath that shade that we just used. So it's more kind of like a gradient effect. And you can totally do your face makeup first, but I just like doing my eyes first a lot. I think then once you put your foundation on, your whole face just ties together. And it's, it's kind of cool to watch it tie together like that. Next, I'm going to apply these lid shades. This is the part I'm so excited about because they are so beautiful. They're metallics. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to mix two of them. So the first one that I want to apply is this one right here. It's more of a pinky champagne kind of color. It's a lot brighter. This is the one I want to put down first and put and make like on my inner corner. But we'll get out of the window. And then I want to go in with this one down here, right here on the corner. It's more of a copper, you know, more coppery red like a fiery color that's just oh, stunning and I bet if you used fix plus or any kind of like eye drops it would just intensify these shadows but I just want to do it as they are as you can see it just totally like it pops so I'm just working that mainly on the inner third of your lid and it's, it's, it's from the lash line all the way up to the crease, just to make your lid space look larger. And now 
I'm going in to that bronzy copper shade. There's a lot of product to it, so when you dip your brush into it, it kind of has a lot of fallout. So make sure you tap your brush off or you kind of pack it on because you don't want it to necessarily get all over your face. So I'm just going to put that on the rest of the eye and then kind of sweep it into that lighter shade just so it transitions smoothly. I'm building that product up to the opacity that I want it to be. And then I'm going to go back into that lighter shade and kind of just re-apply that and smooth it, like blend them in together just to kind of redefine it. And then I'm just going to go back into that second crease shade that we applied and just redefine right here in the inner crease just to kind of cut it a little bit more. Sometimes you can kind of lose it and then it it just doesn't look as deep as it did. Now I'm going to apply just this top white shade and just to the brow bone. And I'll touch that up later, but I like to at least get it down. And then take your blending brush again and just kind of, once again, make it all seamless. Next, I'm going to take a liquid liner and just apply this to the top of my eye. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liner. I love this one. It's really easy to use. Did kind of a slight wing, just kind of tailed it out a little bit. I'm just gonna pile mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This is just a, an amazing drugstore mascara. So that's kind of what the eye look looks like with just mascara. You could totally just do mascara, but I just want to apply um, lashes just because. So, I mean, I know you can't tell because my face is just like, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, like with the eyes, everyone's eyes are different because everyone's lashes are different, but they're just really natural, wispy, Longer on the outside. I haven't worn these in years because I literally haven't seen them in that long. And they're awesome, awesome, awesome natural lashes. So I'm going to apply these to my upper lashes. So look at this. is This one has a lash on it and this one doesn't. It looks just like my real lash but like a little bit thicker. <laughs> like literally. Like you have to just kind of stare to see the difference. It's like you can't even tell. The only way I can tell is because I can feel it on my eyelash and I can't feel it on this one. So crazy. I'm going to put the other one on now. I mean, it's, that's just funny to me, but let me put the other one on. So this is the eyes. I put the lashes on. So like I said, my eyelashes were basically the exact same, but now I'm going to go back to my face. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying this new product that I have had now for like two weeks and I haven't used it yet because I wanted to do it on camera. This is the MAC Strobe Cream that I have just recently seen all over the place. It is really good for illuminating and highlighting and like it's a moisturizer. You apply it under the skin and it just kind of illuminates the face. I have dry skin. I love anything that will just like illuminate your, your face. So I'm just going to be applying this to not all over my face, but like right here on my cheekbones. Just really illuminates the face. It's so good. You can mix it with your foundation. I'm putting it underneath. It just really gives you that glow. 
feels really good. It's kind of cooling. I'm going to apply it right around here on my face. Then I'm going to take this Pure Minerals Correcting Primer in the Illuminate and Glow. So this is kind of going to have an illuminator as well. And it's kind of got a pinkier tone to it. Um, but I really like this cons or this uh, primer. I'm just going to apply it right here in my T-zone. Now the foundation I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This has like been the only foundation I've really been using. Like, <laughs> here you go. It's just a great foundation. I absolutely love it. I've been using it on everybody, myself. It just, it lasts long. It looks so radiant and it's just great. I'm going to be using my Sedona Lace 928 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. The shade I'm using today is a tad bit dark, but I'm just going to drag it down my face and give myself some color because I don't want to look completely washed out. The shade is in light beige. So I'm just kind of buffing that in and blending. It's it's got coconut water in it. It's just uh, it's not just a great foundation. Like it's good for your skin too. You can build it up. You could wear it a little more sheer if you wanted by switching your brushes. Using a flat top kabuki is going to give you a more full coverage airbrushed look. If you use more of a if you use a stippling brush such as this one, it would give you a more sheer coverage. So if you don't need I just like a more airbrushed look, but if you don't want to do that, you can literally just use something like this, like a stippling brush. This one's by Real Techniques, and it'll give you a more sheer coverage for maybe a more no makeup look. Now I'm going to do my concealer. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's like been all rubbed off. You can hardly see what it is, but it is in the shade Light. I like this concealer. It's got a little more of a yellow tone to it. So I'm just going to apply that under my eyes, down to the bottom of my nose, sort of. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Light Pale. I just like the way this one highlights right here. Right there in between my nose, or in, un, under my nose. Down the bridge, and then right here in between my brows. Then I'm taking this Angled Flat Top. This was in the Sculpt and Blend Collection by... BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to kind of press that in, buffing it in. Sometimes I use the brush, sometimes I just use my finger. Today, I just want to use a brush. And I'm going to buff it all the way, kind of to my brow, not all the way to my hairline, but just to my brow, down underneath my nose. And I just kind of sweep right here. Kind of helps buff it in and blend it with your foundation. Now to set that concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm going to take this Angled Blush Brush by e.l.f. I'm putting a generous amount, not that much, but I'm just taking a generous amount and putting it on, or tapping the rest into the lid. And then I'm just going to buff it in. The only place I am not going to put this powder is on the bridge of my nose. What I'm going to put there is I'm going to take my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I'm going to go into the yellow shade right here. And it... I'm going to just take a, this is the Flawless Concealer Blush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to drag that down the bridge of my nose. I just like the way it brightens and highlights a little bit better. And then I'm also going to pop this right here on like the inner corner of my eye. This is not necessary for, you know, you to do, but I just like the way it brightens up a little bit more. 
I'm just taking this Morphe brush. I don't remember what it is because I lost the base of it, but I'm just kind of sweeping. It's just a big fluffy brush like this. I'm just kind of sweeping what could be excess powder off that might be there. Next, I'm taking this brow gel. It is the, I don't know what it is because it kind of rubbed off, but it's by L'Oreal. But everyone says it's, it works just as well as the Anastasia. And I'm going to sweep this through my brows. It's just been in my, my makeup bag and it's like rubbed completely off the tube. I also have it in clear. This is in the light to medium. Next thing I'm going to do is take this is also in the Sculpt and Blend collection by BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm going to use this to apply bronzer and kind of define my cheeks. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lorac Contour Palette again. I'm going into this medium bronze shade right here. And I just push into the product and like tap it off. And I kind of use the point of the brush to kind of define that cheekbone. And then I'll just use the rest of the product to just buff right there and then I sweep it and like I'm basically in my hairline right here and then I'll also do up here about the hairline now taking the Lorac contouring brush it's just a like perfect contouring brush I'm going into that light contour shade and I'm just going to contour my nose and underneath my lip like this. brush and I'm just going to buff out those edges of the bronzer around my nose. Next I'm taking this blush by MAC and it is in the color Margin. It's a beautiful, it's got, I think it's, it's been rubbed off but I think it's a sheer tone shimmer but I don't remember. It's beautiful though. It's perfect for this time of year. And I'm just applying that to my apples and my cheeks and then kind of blending it back into my bronze. Then I'm just gonna take my Too Faced Kabuki brush and just kind of blend those two together. I love this brush. I just think it blends your blush and bronzer together so well. So I just kind of buff everything out with that. For my highlight, I'm using my newfound favorite. It is by Wet n Wild Color Icon, and it's a it's a bronzer, but it's actually so light, it's really a highlight. And it is in Reserve Your Cabana, and it is just a very beautiful, sheer highlight. It's not glittery, it's not like intense, it's very subtle, it's good for every day, it's good for people with oily skin, so that it doesn't make you look like you're, you know, oily. It's just gorgeous. It's extremely pigmented, very affordable. So I'm just gonna apply that right there. See, that is just, uh. And I just kind of sweep it on and then in circular motions, kind of blend it in, sweep it right up above my brow. I mean, hello, and this thing's like $3. Gonna take some right here to the tip of my nose. Right. I'm gonna go back with that little fluffy brush I have and just kind of sweep any excess off. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to lightly fill in my brows a little bit. I'm just using this little dub double-sided brush by Bodyography Pro. It's got a angled brush on one side and a spoolie on the other. Using my Anastasia Brow Pomade in Soft Brown, I'm just going to kind of lightly sweep through basically underneath my, my brow only.
light to use on your brows, but definitely don't leave them hanging because this will like just tie your face together. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna finish off the under eye area. First, I'm going to hop on the mouth blush. Go back into my Morphe palette. First, I'm going to take the shade right dab, smack dab in the middle. It's a lot like the shade that we put all over our lid up here, but it's a matte. It's not a metallic, and I just want to kind of keep it matte under there. So I'm going to apply this as close to the, um, the shade right here. I'm playing as close to my lash line as possible, real thin, just to kind of like deepen it. And then I'm going to take this shade we used right here, the one that we used to kind of deepen our crease up a little bit. I'm going to take that and just, you know, just real blend it out. So there it is with just the shade in the middle smudged underneath or pressed underneath. And if you don't want a smoky eye, Literally, just put some mascara on your bottom lash and call it a day. I do that all the time. I love that look, but I just kind of want to do a smoky eye. that shade that really bright champagne-ish beautiful beautiful shade and I'm just going to pop that right there on that lower and then the tear duct just to kind of pop that eye open because I still I love when a smoky eye doesn't make your eye look small I like to just brighten it up just a little bit so I'm just sweeping that right in there like that. Sometimes I'll retouch up the brow bone, but I really like how kind of subtle it is. It's obviously there, but it's not like. I am going to take the Rimmel Nude Liner and put this in my waterline just to make sure my eyes don't look, I don't look tired or anything. I just want to keep it really bright. If you want to apply a black liner, you can. I just, I don't want it to be that harsh and smoky. I just want it to stay kind of you know, every day. And then I took my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applied that on my lower lashes. Now I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray to just set my makeup. I like this because it provides a nice glow. It feels good. Kind of sets your makeup. It's like the best feeling ever. Sometimes I'll even apply it before I even do anything. But I applied a um, moisturizer so I didn't need to do that. Now I'm going to apply lips. You can do a dark lip. You could do so many different lips looks with this, but I just want something, I've been really into darker nude lips, so that's just what I'm gonna do. I like it to have more of a warm, just everyday kind of something that you can work with. So first I'm gonna take this NYX lip liner in the shade Ever. It's a really pretty dark nude. These NYX lip liners, by the way, are the best ever, so if you're like wanting to try darker colors or new shades out of your comfort zone, pick up some of these lip liners because they're like $3. NYX is usually having buy one, get one half off at Ulta. Next, I'm going to take this high voltage lipstick by NYX in the shade Flutter Kiss. It's, it's beautiful. It's basically the same color as that liner. Really pigmented and hydrating. I buff it into my look. And then I take this NYX Simply Nude 
lip crayon cream thing in the shade Exposed, and I just blend over it. And that is the completed look. I just pin my hair at my hair. Just ignore all my hair, you know. I hope you bared with me with my lighting. I just really wanted to film this for you guys and use these new products and like be able to talk, talk with you guys and do a beauty video. Cause like I said, if you've been watching my vlogs, I'm about to have a baby and I'm about to, you know, my filming games will be a little differently. So I just really wanted to film this for you guys and get it up for y'all. Sorry, I kept looking at the difference in the mirror versus the camera. It looks so different, but on a computer it might look great. So. <laughs> Who knows? You can never tell right now. I hope you enjoyed this or this talk through. Get ready with me. If you have any more questions about any products that I use, I will list all of the products I use below. You can ask me anything you need to also down below. Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.